Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Letty with Living Life with Letty. And it is uh, dark because I'm in my van. Tonight is the first night I'm gonna spend the night in my van. I have been driving for all day. Um, actually, I've only, I've only been driving about, oh, I don't know, 300 miles. But it took me all day because I stopped a lot to stretch and to go to the bathroom and to eat and to go shopping for food and things. So it took all day. So I'm here somewhere about an hour before I get to Lubbock. I wanted to make it to Lubbock, but I didn't make it. So um, I stopped at a Walmart and I'm here and I'm about ready to go to bed because I am exhausted. Um, but there are other vans here, so I don't feel so bad. Um, I'm having to lean this way and hold the light up because it's very dark in here. I have all my Reflectix and my, um, the only Reflectix I still need to put are the ones in the driver and the passenger. I have to get out and do that, but the other ones are in. And, um, anyway, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm gonna, um, head out and, um, find a small park somewhere and um, so I can make my coffee and make my breakfast so I hope that you'll stay and join me to do that and then we'll see what other adventures we can do tomorrow it's been great you guys I mean really uh, the experience so far and I know it's only one day so I can't really say much but the feeling of uh, the freedom that I had today I've never felt that freedom before of just going and not even know without a plan I just I'm just going and I think it's just absolutely wonderful and same thing tomorrow who knows what tomorrow is gonna bring today I got lost I was lost for oh my god about 40 minutes I ended up on a dirt road and GPS was getting me even more lost and but you know, I, I remained calm and I found my way. And uh, what I did wrong, I know what I did wrong. I didn't plan things out right of where I was gonna stay. And um, it got dark and the roads out here, there's nothing. And so, um, you know, it's very dark and hard to see. So tomorrow I'm gonna plan it much better so that wherever I'm gonna camp out, I'm gonna do it before nightfall. That way I'm not out in the dark because it was a little spooky. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please stay and let's go have coffee and breakfast tomorrow morning and see what other adventures we can do. And if you're new to my channel, uh, please hit subscribe and like and share and leave a comment and hit the bell so you'll know when my next video is going to be. So I'll see you in the morning. Thank you and bye-bye. Good morning. So my first night in the van was not so bad. There were uh, a lot of tr uh, other vans, so it was it was okay. I felt uh, safe and comfortable. Um, it was kind of noisy at one time because the uh, truck that sweeps came and was sweeping the parking lot, and it was loud. But after that, it was okay. I got a pretty good night's sleep. But this morning when I went to get up and get out, my side doors, well, one of them I knew didn't work. And now the other one doesn't work either. I was trapped in the cargo van. I didn't know what to do. Anyway, little by little, I managed to step on the driver's seat and on the passenger seat. And somehow I scooted all the way down. It was a little painful because my knees are sore. But I was able to get out, but I need to get this fixed. So I'm going to go to, uh, the dealer doesn't open till 9. It's only like 7 o'clock here. i got to wait a couple more hours. I have to go to the dealer and find out what can be done to the doors. Because I can't, I can't do this every time. I, I need the doors to get out. The back door, um, the latch to get out of the two back doors is way underneath and and the bed is in the way so I can't get to it either so 
I'm not going to get discouraged. I'm not going to let this beat me. Uh, the worst case scenario is if the dealer wants too much money, I'm going to have to go back home because I do have people at home that can fix it for probably a lot cheaper than the dealer. I'm only six hours away from home, so it's not you know a catastrophe um i will be a little disappointed because i was so excited but i need to get this uh i need to get this fixed and i need to get it fixed right away because i or i'm gonna have to go home i can't get back i can't uh get back in the van i can get back in it but i have to leave the doors open if i close them then i have to scoop out the front again and that's too hard for me for my knees it's too painful there's not enough room this little van is too small for that so that's that my trip may be short but what can I say um, not things don't always work out the way you want them to and the best thing to do is just try to take it one step at a time so, and I guess I won't be cooking breakfast at the park either because it's very, very windy here. Um, the temperature dropped a little bit and it is so windy that I'm not going to be able to do that. So, um, oh well, you know, there's, there'll be more, many more days that I'll be able to do that. Right now, my main concern is trying to get those doors fixed. So, this is it for now. I'm going to go ahead and post this video because I know there's a lot of you that uh, have been asking and wondering how I'm doing and I'm doing great. Everything is wonderful except for the doors, you know, there's always something. But I will go ahead and post another video as soon as I get an update on what's happening with the doors and if I'm going to have to go back home or if I can continue on my journey. So until then, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much. I've gotten so many comments. Uh, last night I was up till like one o'clock in the morning trying to answer them. And if I don't answer the, the comments, please, I'm so sorry, but they, you know, there's so many of them, but keep them coming because I love it. I, I think it's wonderful and I appreciate it. So thank you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And until then, my friends, uh, may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on your solar panels. I love you all. Bye-bye.